We want you to come live in our home. Downham Homes. Hello. Hi, I'm David Bellman with Bellman Homes. And welcome to our 2011 Prada Homes model, the Tuscany. This home is located in Hawks Meadow subdivision in Pewaukee. This home is based on Tuscan and Andalusian architecture. So what you're going to see here in this home is a lot of features that are common in those types of homes. Uh, one of the things that you're going to see a lot in this type of home is a lot of rich woodwork and natural materials. So you're going to see lots of really neat detail here. This stone was provided by Tile and Stone and it is uh, obviously a, a variable size stone that's put in a pattern called the Roma pattern. And this was installed by Tile and Surface Management. They did an excellent job and you're going to see this feature both in the foyer and in the kitchen. Uh, as I mentioned, a lot of things with this architecture you're going to see here. We've got beautiful archways in the home and uh, how we wanted to dress them up is a lot of builders do archways we wanted to give it a little bit of a different treatment. So what we did is we put in custom made solid maple corbels and these are just gorgeous. It kind of gives a little bit of an accent flair to the home and uh, that was one of the key concepts when we did this is we wanted to make sure we incorporated that. The other thing that you'll see a lot in Tuscan architecture is uh, this kind of nice drywall texture here and uh, this is a hand trowel. This was done by Suburban Drywall and uh, a, a lot of uh, effort there to make it look just right and then we did some special painting over the top and Treese Custom Painting did that for us and uh, did an amazing job. It really uh, builds the character and the theme of the house. Here we are in the great room and uh, this is one of my favorite rooms of the house. Uh, there's a lot of neat things going on in here. First of all we got lots of bright transom windows, a two-story ceiling, and uh, in here we have a nice gas direct vent fireplace and we did a built-in media center here as well as a nice little bookcase so um, makes more usable space in the room kind of keeps it clutter free so that's uh, one of the nice things that uh, people are starting to like to have is the built-ins. Uh, in our model here in the Tuscany we also feature a Mohawk frise carpet and this was provided and installed by Drexel in Brookfield and it's a very nice soft, uh, it's a 34 and a half ounce carpet. Uh, it's, it's got a very nice soft pad under it and uh, nice thick fibers so if, it's very nice if you're going to sit on the floor and uh, just a nice warm color. And we use all custom cabinets. We use Aero Millwork and that what's different about the custom cabinets is that they're made in a mill shop, they're designed specifically for the house after it's built. So we job measure them and then design them accordingly. So there's no gaps or anything, you don't have to use filler pieces, and it's actually hand sanded and stained right on the job site. So you get a really nice finish and you can customize it however you like. One of the true centerpieces in a Tuscan lifestyle is the kitchen. The kitchen is one of the most important aspects in a Tuscan home and we didn't want to shortchange here at all. So we've got a really nice breakfast area here uh, and even look at the detail in the cabinets here. We have uh, these very nice um, brackets instead of just a standard L bracket we decided to do something a little more decorative and that really kind of helps bring everything together. Uh, the cabinetry here you can see again we do all custom made cabinets so these are mill made in a shop. Uh, everything was built in. The, the range hood that's built underneath here was built specifically, or the cabinets were built specifically around the range hood. Uh, obviously, we got a lot of beautiful tile going on here. Uh, again, that was installed by Tile and Surface Management. And uh, the granite here um, is a little bit of an upgraded granite. Uh, one of the things you can see here that we did to kind of set the house off is this beautiful edging. And uh, this is a new edge from uh, Nan's Design Showplace. Uh, it's kind of a bell curve, and uh, we saw the, the edge at a factory tour and uh, just thought it was amazing, so we wanted to incorporate it into the house. The other neat thing about our cabinetry is there's lots of little built-ins in the home. So, for instance, you know, here we've got a nice pull-out cool spice rack for storage, and we did some different uh, cabinet doors here, so it's got kind of a beaded edge on it, which gives it a little more detail. And of course, uh, it's all a wood dovetail type drawer and the other nice aspect of these drawers is we did do the soft close mechanism so you don't have the door slamming and even just the little details like uh, kind of the, the light uh, rail molding to kind of cover up the recessed lights 
and then it's moving up. You can see, look at the crumb molding and the rope molding that we did on top of the cabinets here. Uh, really just gives it some extra detail. This home is a total Kohler home. So we used all Kohler plumbing fixtures and faucets, sinks, uh, the whole nine yards. So uh, on display here, we've got a beautiful Vignetta oil rub bronze faucet, uh, nice stainless steel undermount sink. And uh, to really complete uh, having such a, a, a very detailed and a very workable kitchen, we also put in you know, the center island with uh, the garden sink right away. So someone can be prepping at the kitchen sink, someone can be prepping here at the island. Uh, we even did the, the air switch at the, uh, at the sink for your garbage disposal, so push of a button and away you go. So with the Tuscan kitchen, again, appliances and uh, everything are very important to people. Uh, we've got lots of nice built-ins and the chef in the family is really going to love this. Uh, we've done a built-in convection microwave, wall oven, and warming drawer. And this is a KitchenAid package that we did and this was supplied by Grand Appliance and TV. Uh, so you've got lots of ability to cook things, warm things. This warming drawer is just awesome, you know, especially on the holidays when you're baking and you just don't have enough room. You can put your breads and things in here, keep it warm while you're waiting for everything else to finish cooking. Move on and show you the back hall area, the mud room as we call it. So coming around the corner, we matched the kitchen here and we've got the nice uh, little built-in desk work area. It's got a space provided for a tower. Uh, so some people may want to you know, actually have a computer here. Other people may just want to use this as a nice uh, spot to sit down and write out some bills. This is probably one of the most uh, requested features these days in our homes and that is having a mudroom with a, a cubby system. And this is very nice because it's an area that you can sit down on, you can take your shoes off, and then this is a boot bench, so you can take your shoes and hide them in here. So it keeps the clutter out of the back hall. Obviously a great thing if you have kids, they can hang their, their book bags and their coats and everything in there, and then there's still additional storage up above here. So we even uh, put an outlet in the, the cabinet, so if you wanna toss your cell phones in there and charge them up there, keep everything hidden. The Tuscany features a first floor master bedroom. So we're going to come right down the hallway here and then we move around the corner here. And here's the master suite. Uh, a lot of people like the first floor master because then you can live in the house a lot longer. And uh, you know, your kids, especially when they're older, can be upstairs kind of away from you and enjoy the, the additional privacy that you'd have. Another feature that uh, people really like these days is to have a his and hers walk-in closet. So they each have your own closet and one of the things that we also did uh, with the closets is instead of just doing our normal treatment we put in a very nice built-in dresser area so you have some additional storage for your clothing and here is my single favorite room in the house and this is the master bath and we've got just a lot of amazing things in here uh, again keeping with the Tuscan theme you're going to see that we've got a really nice um, this is a, called a brick pattern with the stone. Again, this stone was provided by Tile and Stone, and it's not tile, it is actual stone. Uh, it's a very porous type material, but uh, again, very rustic. Uh, and then we kept with that theme with the, the limestone countertops and uh, beautiful color, something different that you don't normally see. And uh, look at the, the attention to detail here. I mean, just little things like, you know, put some extra tile in under the, the mirror. Um, so we've got a backsplash little tile. And then check out this mirror. We did a really cool archway here and built the mirror right in underneath it. Next, uh, this is something that uh, I'm very excited about. This is a Kohler digital shower. So uh, of course, not only did we do a tile shower, but we did a digital shower. And this is just the coolest thing. You can make your own settings for the shower, save it, so each time you have your own individual showering experience. So you may want the, the shower, the rain shower head, or maybe you like to just pull the hand shower out and get real close, or we even have um, adjustable wall sprays. So you can set your setting, you can even set the temperature of the water to the exact degree, right to the 101.1 if you want. Set the degree and save it, and away it goes. So every time you hop in the shower in the morning, you have the same experience. We have uh, a Kohler Whirlpool tub. This has a built-in inline heater. So once we fill the tub up with water, it will heat the water as it circulates. And we also took the extra step to do the nice little hand shower. So after you're done you know, using the tub, you can rinse it out, clean it out very easily. And it's a fairly sizable home, but the other feature that we have here is a first floor study. 
Now you'll notice we do not have a formal dining room in the home and we did that on purpose because it seems that the lifestyle is getting away from the formal dining room. So that's why you have the bigger dinette and then a study area instead. And this is just a very nice room for you know sitting and getting work done, just relaxing, you can read a book in here. Uh, but just a, just a nice room and you're seeing that the trend now these days is people are getting away from the formal dining room and, and going more with the offices on the first floor. Now that uh, we've toured the first floor here, I would love to take you upstairs and show you all the great bedrooms and other things that we have. So come up this beautiful staircase with me. We are in the loft area and this is exciting because this is kind of like a catwalk here. So it's open to the two-story great room below. And then on the other side, it's open to the foyer. So you've got a very airy, open feel to it. And uh, some of the other detail work that we did, uh, we've got a really nice bowed um, handrail here. So it really just gives you that kind of elegant balcony feel. And then look at the beautiful radius windows that we have here. Another thing that's very common with the Bellman home is that we use wood windows. And we case every single window out with wood. Uh, a lot of uh, people are going more with the drywall returns. Uh, we don't like to do that. We like our woodwork in our houses. So here's a really nice Pella window, wood inside, aluminum clad. It's a low E squared window uh, with the vertical and the horizontal coating of the glass. So very energy efficient and uh, very, very beautiful with all the woodwork in the home. We do get our windows from Verhalen. And again, they are Pella windows, a wood inside, aluminum clad on the outside. Also in the loft, we want to always make sure we're maximizing space. So here we have a very nice built-in desk area. So this might be your desk area for your children. Great place for them to do their homework, uh, yet they're still kind of in the house with the family. You kind of keep an eye on them if they're on the computer, make sure they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. So uh, this is just a great area for them to get their homework done. These doors are, are not your ordinary doors. These are two panel solid maple doors. They are not pine, these are solid maple. They're very heavy. You have to actually use three hinges on the door. And uh, the hardware was all provided by Nice Hardware. And uh, this is a Schlage uh, a handle set in the oil rub bronze. Uh, the other cool thing about a Bellman house that you probably didn't realize is that these doors are job hung. We do not use pre-hung doors. We actually hand machine and install each door. So it is very um, kind of old fashioned, but that's the right way to do things. It does take us a little longer to build homes than some builders, but we do it kind of the way mom and dad wanted it to be, and that's the old fashioned way. It's kind of the old world tradesman or craftsmanship that you'll see in our homes. Again, another very spacious room. Uh, it's quite large. We also put in a Velux no leak skylight, and uh, it's actually got electronic blinds in it, so you can hit a button and it will lower the blinds for you, so obviously you can sleep at night. Here you see the um, V-Lux skylight. This is a no-leak skylight, and it's electronically controlled. Here we put in a room darkening shade. So with just a push of a button, I'm lowering the shade. So very easily, you can uh, darken your room so that you can sleep. And of course, it is an operating skylight as well. So uh, what we do is we just switch the mode to, uh, instead of from blind, we switch it to window. And then um, first it'll raise the blind again and then we can operate the window and it will actually open up and it has a rain sensor on it so if you forget to leave it or you forget and leave it open and we get some rain uh, it has a sensor in it and will automatically shut itself off as soon as it senses moisture so you won't get water inside your house uh, as you can see here in this house too uh, we're on the upstairs level we do have another thermostat in here this is a zoned heated house uh, the heating and cooling work was done by Drake Camp Heating, uh, and they're out of Heartland. So we've got a nice Honeywell programmable thermostat. This is the T8000 thermostat. It's fully programmable seven days a week, and it's a touchscreen thermostat. So with the touch of a button, you can program when you wake up, when you leave, uh, when you return, when you go to sleep, and you have customized settings for each part of the day, and individually for each day you can have a setting. So if your weekend's different than your weekday, you can program it all out. It'll probably take you about a half an hour to really get it programmed the way you want it, but you can save a lot of money on your utility bills and keep the house comfortable. One of the things that you'll see in our home, and even though it's an old world type home, is you'll see technology in our home. And this is a whole house audio system. This was installed by American In-Home, and it's a very simple system. Uh, it's a four zone, four source audio system. 
and you can plug your iPod in and hit a playlist and then with the simple touch of a button you can turn the music system on in some of the main rooms of the house and you can have a radio on or you can plug it into your TV or your DVD player and have sound all throughout your house. For our Tuscany model and the 2011 Parade of Homes, we decided that we also wanted to showcase a finished lower level. And this is some work that we can do for our existing customers. Uh, so whether you build with us and do it right away or you want us to come back three years later, we'll come back and finish your lower, lower level. So we wanted to kind of show some of the different things that we can do. So come on down, I'll show you. Here we are in the finished lower level of the Tuscany. And uh, this particular home, we went with the nine foot uh, tall ceilings. Uh, our basement was put in by Coelho and Associates and they do terrific work. So with the taller ceilings that enables us to do some more things with the home. One of the things you're going to see is we, we did this real cool in the Tuscan theme. Have a really nice uh, brick archway here separating the rooms. And here we have a really cool home theater. Um, I didn't want to just do a home theater, I wanted to make sure that uh, it was very functional for a family. So you can see that we've got actually a tiered floor here. So it's stadium seating. So you can have multiple people in here and uh, sit here and watch your movie. And as you come in here, um, I've got these really cool uh, sofa seats. And uh, this furniture was provided uh, by Stein Hoffels. And they did all the furnishing for our home. And uh, here we've got uh, the home theater system. This is a Blu-ray projector. And uh, with just the control of one button here, you can turn your movie on, turn it off. And this was all uh, professionally installed by American In-Home. It's also a 5.1 audio surround system. The other thing that we did in this particular home is, you know, with Tuscan um, lifestyle, you know, wine is very popular. So we wanted to have kind of a wine bistro bar area. So we got these fun bistro tables. So great for when you're gathering around, you can kind of sit here and, and have a little glass of wine and, and just chat. And then coming into the bar area, again, more beautiful cabinets here on display, all custom cabinetry. This bar will please any wine enthusiast. As you can see here, we've got a full wine area here. Again, custom cabinets, so these were all specifically made for the house. Um, we even did a barrel vaulted ceiling here in the basement just to kind of show off the craftsmanship again. And then a full working uh, bar area here. This can also serve as a little kitchenette, so you know, a little microwave and things so you can kind of uh, warm up your appetizers and, and anyone that knows wine is really going to love this. This is a wine fridge and this is a uh, KitchenAid. It's a zoned wine fridge. So the way it works is each tier is set up for different types of wine. So the bottom is obviously the coldest and you can put your champagnes at the bottom and then you would put your whites and then your reds, and it, it'll keep it just the right temperature. So obviously you move your wine from your wine rack into your, your wine fridge as you're gonna need it. And then again, we've got beautiful granite. Uh, this is uh, installed again by Nons Design Show Place, and they just do a terrific job with the granite. It's actually all uh, laser cut, and they have a machine that templates it. I was at their factory and just watching them design and cut the granite. They have a huge room and a big table and it can spin everything around and saw everything so you can get these neat angles and everything. And uh, they even polish the undersides of the granite which is really nice so it just, just has a nice feel to it. Basement is not complete without having uh, a guest bedroom down here. So uh, this is again a five bedroom home and we have a nice uh, fifth bedroom here down the hall. We have lots of room here. Um, we were fortunate enough to have a little bit of a pitch on the lot. Not a whole lot, but just enough to get some daylight windows in here. So that's the egress uh, uh, window with some natural light down here. So perfect room for uh, if you have some uh, family coming over for the weekend, they can stay down here. And of course, they have around the corner a full bathroom. And here we are in the, the basement bath. And again, we did a nice little uh, granite top. Uh, we did a little bit fancier shower down here just to show off some of the other cool, uh, um, you know, Kohler products that we have. So uh, even the toilet is neat. This is a 1.28 gallon flush toilet. So it uses a lot less water, um, much greener for people. So uh, especially uh, in Pewaukee, they're concerned about water and uh, storm water and all sorts of things like that. So having the lower gallon flush toilet, they can actually uh, achieve the same amount of flush power with uh, using less water. So obviously a very nice feature and uh, a lot of Kohler's toilets are moving that way to the water sense program and to the higher efficiency flush. 
Our lighting was provided by EBC Lighting, and they are located on St. Paul Avenue in downtown Milwaukee, and uh, they have just an incredible facility, uh, very much like a warehouse, but they have just about everything you can imagine in there. Here we are in the mechanical room of the crate model, and here you see that we feature um, a Lennox furnace and air conditioning. This is a 95.5% efficient furnace. Uh, we also do the, the thicker air filter. Uh, it takes out a lot of the, the dust and things in the home. Uh, here you can see this is part of the zone system that we talked about earlier. Uh, it's got electronic dampener, so it'll automatically adjust the dampeners in the ducts to keep the heat uh, at the right level. This particular home is very energy efficient. Uh, we uh, took this home and had it independently tested and verified with the Focus on Energy New Homes program. And some of the other elements that we did just besides the efficient equipment, um, you'll see up here in the box, so we did the spray foam. This is great for a couple reasons. One, it's more energy efficient, um, it's quieter, and the other thing is if you put this in the box, it will help prevent uh, bugs and things from coming in. Uh, here we have a uh, awesome Kinetico water softener system. Um, now you see here, if you look at the water softener, there's no electric to it. This is a non-electric system. It runs just on demand, so you're not wasting water again, like we mentioned earlier. Uh, this can run on as little as 14 pounds of salt, and uh, this is a two-tank system, and uh, very efficient, and it gets the water super clean. So uh, this was installed by Water Doctors, and uh, they are the, the main Connecticut dealer in the area. You mentioned that you know, water quality and water treatment is important. Uh, air quality and air treatment is also important in your home. So what we put into this model is a HRV, which is a heat recovery ventilator. And this particular unit, what it does is it will give you fresh air exchanges throughout the day. There's actually a heating coil built in here. And what happens is it'll pull your old air out of the house, your warm air, and that warm air will heat the coil. And then on the opposite side, there's a filter, uh, actually a filter on both sides, and the fresh air will come in through the coil, get filtered, and then the coil will heat the air and bring it back into the home. So you don't lose any of your efficiency with the system, but yet you're getting fresh air exchanges throughout the day. The brain box in our, our home here, um, again, American In Home did these, these structured wiring for us. So throughout the home, you'll see Cat5 and RG6 wiring. And uh, got me locked in here. Here we go. Um, this is a real basic module. There's plenty of space in here to add later, but you can hook your internet right into here and uh, you put your phone modules in here. And they're all home run lines, so they run right from one room directly into the basement. So you can plug and play, you can pop things in and out if you want to activate or deactivate a room. Home that you probably are not going to see, but it's going to provide a lot of benefit, a lot of energy uh, savings to you, is called Energy Complete. And it's actually a gasket sealing system that we put um, at the top level of your framing. Um, a lot of heat rises out of your home, you know, through these little dots and little holes in between the drywall and your attic. So what they do is they put a gasket sealer in and it's kind of a flexible material and what it does is it prevents all that air from leaking out of the house. And they actually have a picture and they show it and the equivalent, if you seal up all those holes, the size of the hole is about this big. So that's how much air you're losing out of your house, out of your attic. So Energy Complete really helps keep the house energy efficient. And that uh, particular product is installed by Wisconsin Insulation. Here we are outside the Tuscany, and again, this is Bellman Homes here, and we built the home. Um, on the outside here, you'll see that we've used a lot of uh, really nice uh, cultured stone. This material was provided by Champion Brick and Stone, and a uh, very nice warm color, kind of the stacked stone, completes the uh, kind of Tuscan theme of the house. Um, as, you, as you move along here, you'll see too that we put in a beautiful little courtyard area here. So you've got a, just a nice little place Obviously there's a lot of construction noise as we're, everyone's completing their parade models, but we're going to get our little bench seat here, so you've got a nice little area to sit outside and enjoy the sun. Um, and as you walk through the pathway right here, our landscaper put a lot of detail into it. Here you can see um, the nice little paver uh, accent area, so not doing the whole sidewalk out of concrete, doing some little pavers just to get some visual interest. Mark's Custom Services out of McGuanago and uh, they do a very nice job for us. Uh, we had the landscape done by Landscape Design and they did the whole landscape plan for us uh, and created really kind of a nice layout and they had some particular challenges because of the way the house faces, the front faces north. We have to select certain materials that um, are appropriate for this type of exposure. 
other thing you'll see here um, that is uh, something that we've tried for the first time, and this is a uh, concrete curbing. And this is provided by Seamless Curbing. And what it is is it's uh, uh, basically like a stamped concrete, and it's a, a beveled edge, so when you're cutting the grass, uh, you can drive your mower right up against it, and it's beveled so that you don't have to worry about coming back with the weed whacker later. So it helps kind of keep and protect your mulch beds, and it makes it a lot easier for you. It saves you a lot of time when you're cutting the grass. Um, outside here, you're going to notice, uh, again, that we have the Pella aluminum clad windows, as well as uh, for siding. We use the hardy plank cement board siding. And even up in the gables, you'll see the shake board. Now, that's not a real cedar shake board. That is actually uh, a cement board and that's uh, made by Nietzschea. And again, it's a fiber cement product. Um, it's got a very long warranty, uh, and it can last a lot longer before you have to repaint it. We get our siding and our shakeboard from Blifford Lumber out of Oak Creek. Detail in our Parade of Homes model, even uh, the garage doors uh, have uh, kind of that uh, uh, kind of an authentic uh, Tuscan kind of Italian feel to them with the stamped hardware. Uh, we did uh, the Stockton door, and this is, uh, these doors were provided by Geis garage doors and they also provided us with the LiftMaster garage door openers for the home. Our gutters are installed by uh, classic seamless gutters, and uh, you can see the very nice uh, textured dimensional shingles um, by Elk. Those are installed by BCI Roofing. Uh, as we had mentioned in the basement, we had a little natural exposure there, so we put in a, a nice daylight window, and then there's a little retaining wall, and that was all installed again by Mark's Custom Services. So they did the full landscaping, retaining walls, everything for us. Thank you again for touring our home. I'd like to give you a little background now on Bellman Homes. Uh, our company was founded uh, back in 1981 by my father, Don Bellman, and uh, he's been known for a long time as a uh, very reputable, um, high-quality, uh, hand-built uh, home builder. Uh, we started back when the economy was very bad in the 80s and uh, uh, started building a few homes and uh, it really took off for us. And, and Don had been in the real estate industry prior to that for a few years. Uh, he did land development and real estate work as early as the 70s. So uh, very experienced in home building, real estate, and development. And that's one thing that really sets our company apart, that we are a full service builder, developer, and realtor. So we handle everything. We can even uh, sell your existing house for you. So we have that experience and obviously we do our own subdivisions and, and a lot of our own developments. Uh, as far as the company itself, um, Don is still very active in the business. Uh, I'm obviously a son. I handle a lot of the sales and marketing. Uh, my brother Dan is also very active in the business. And we have a really great staff that we work with throughout the years and they build our houses for us and, uh, and uh, really we try and take care of our people and have a lot of attention to detail with our homes. If you do want any information and would like to reach us, you can contact us on the website at www dot bellmanhomes.com that's b-e-l-m-a-n homes.com or you can give us a call at 262-544-4648 remember at bellman we want you to come live in our home